You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a look at a hall. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this space, so get ready. Uh, Audrey and I went to Crazy Allen's Emporium, which is in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, just off the highway. And we were out and about and said, you know, we haven't stopped in the Crazy Allen's in a while. Let's go see what's going on there. Because uh, I expected it to be very safe uh, and uh, low population. And it was. There were people there uh, a little bit, but never more than a, a couple at a time. And everybody was properly masked and distanced. And I didn't feel like there was anybody there at all. So it was very cool. Uh, and Crazy Island's Emporium has a little bit of everything. So the first thing are these tiger zipper bags. Uh, Audrey saw these and we had some people on the Instagram live, which I ran uh, looking at the store and that sort of thing. And uh, the consensus was, hey, get those tigers. The these are basically like Ziploc bags, except tough. And uh, you can dishwasher these and all kinds of things. So uh, give your snacks a friendly face. Indeed, like you got a little uh, bottom here. You can see your snacks. Audrey's planning on probably putting her uh, like morning cereal in here. And uh, it'll look like a tiger is eating her cereal. Adorable, right? Right. Uh, the next thing that's also kind of random is I got some command hooks. Uh, you've seen my backpacks behind me on the back of the door, and I need to I need to figure out a way to make those better arranged. So I grabbed some command hooks because, you know, four bucks or whatever for two command hooks. Worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, and then I grabbed a Rhodia pad because they have a lot of paper there, and I'm constantly running low on Rhodia. I think think I needed a new one, but uh, this is what I use for all my ink reviews, and so it's kind of necessary for me to have those. Grab your Rhodia. Uh, Audrey found a whole section of Kakunos, which is fun. If you're not familiar with the Kakuno, this is a pilot pen that is meant to be like a first fountain pen, but also this is a very good little pen. It uses the same kind of nib as the Prera and the, uh, the Metropolitan do, so it's a very nice nib. Although these have like a smiley face on them usually. You know, smiley, a frowny, I think, and then a smiley face with the tongue sticking out. This is the tongue sticking out version. And this is a full demonstrator. They come in all kinds of colors and designs. Uses a cartridge, uses a converter. Uh, you might even could eyedropper these. I actually forget if you can or not. I can't remember if there's holes at the bottom. But it's the sort of thing you can close up if they are. So there you go, Kakuno. And 11 bucks, totally a good price for a little uh, starter pen like that. And uh, I mean, just a good pen to use and, and knock around. Uh, and then looking over the ink tray or ink tray, the like ink table, I found that he had some Sailor Gentle ink there. Crazy Allen's always got everything uh, kind of like that store is a little bit of a cacophony. And uh, I think it's a great store, but this is uh, Sailor Gentle Sky High. And the thing about Sky High is one, it's been discontinued. And two, it's one of my favorite inks of all time. Uh, I've also always been a little precious of it because I only had one bottle of it. But look at this blue. Like, this is a gorgeous blue, and uh, it's a lot darker than it appears here on the camera in a pen. It is a great color, and uh, you can't really, these are hard to find, these 50 mil bottles. Now they're doing like little 20 mil, or yeah, 20 mil bottles, I think, for like 18 bucks, and this was 25 for a 50 mil bottle. So it's not cheap or whatever, but it's a great ink, and I really wanted to have a second bottle of this, so I'm super happy I found that. Uh, so there's that. And then Audrey is looking at the table, at another table, and found Retro 51s. So this one is in the box still. This is a uh, Retro 51 Leap, which came out for Leap Year this year, and it's got all these phases of the moon, which is totally neat. That's the design on the pen is like this. I'm not going to open it up. This is Audrey's pen. She can open it when she wants. But uh, she found one of these and she really wanted one of these when they came out and they sold out instantly uh, because there weren't that many of them, I guess. And then this is one that she found that I like with the totally normal packaging or whatever. I probably wouldn't have looked in there. and That would have been bad because this is the Retro 51 Black t uh, Titanium. And this is actually a Big Shot 51. So here it is. You know, it's Black Titanium Glory. You got this kind of like brushed metal nose cone. You got this sort of blackened trim up here. Just a regular, regular blackened chrome sort of uh, uh, medallion. And then here on the back, it says recreational grade titanium. I have another one of these recreational grade titaniums that's like titanium and rose gold colored. I hadn't seen the black one, I don't think. But this is the Big Shot, and the Big Shot is a thick boy. So this is the regular Retro 51. This is the bump in the night that you can get from uh, heymatthew.com starting on the 24th of August. Uh, and you can see here, 
just the size difference. So when this is just like all by itself, like they look kind of the, kind of similar, but you put them next to each other. The big shot is a chunk. Look at that chunker. It's a it's a thick boy. It uses the same cartridges and everything as this one does. It's just bigger uh, in uh, in girth. So there you go. Very happy I got this titanium, uh, this recreational grade titanium. I dig it. It's just a very comfortable pen for me to use. And then the other thing that Crazy Allens is known for is singles. So I've got a lot of singles here. And I'm going to grab a piece of paper here so we can test them out as we go. So uh, firstly, this we can't test out yet, but these are uh, they're black wings. These are pencils. So it's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. I feel fine. I just wanted to get some pencils. Also, I'm kind of addicted to singles. Like, I mean, I love singles. So... Uh, you can get these in a box of 12 is how they usually come and 12 pencils of the same type would like, I would use that. I would, it would take free forever to use up 12 pencils. Honestly, I'm not the biggest pencil fan, as you know, but these have a variety of cores in them. The ones that I was actually going for were these, which have the extra firm core, which I think is a great balance between a dark, uh, dark pencil lead and the, the, the point lasting, uh, because it's that extra firm core. And then you've got these two, which are the balanced core. And I think that's what What's in the pearl, uh, the black wing pearl. Uh, the core, of course, is the, the graphite bit. And I think that's a pretty soft sort of uh, pencil graphite, and it tends to wear down very quickly, although it leaves a, a, a nice dark mark behind. And then this is the, uh, the Blackwing Matte. And I've never used this one before, but it's described as a soft core. And uh, I am curious about what this soft core is like, because these are already pretty soft, I think. So I'll we'll have to see what this is like. And of course, you can also get new erasers for these things, because they're modular, they have this little little pinchy deal you can buy just extra erasers and stuff which i think is great so there's some black wings of various kinds uh and these are not the cheapest pencils around they are pretty darn expensive at uh the the dozen is somewhere between 20 between 20 and 30 bucks usually 25 to 30 there are a couple i think they're lower priced but um these were a couple of bucks a piece in the uh, in the pencil cup so i'm psyched about that uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to test those out one of these days in a video. And then I got a bunch of singles. So uh, this one is actually one that Audrey picked out. And this is the Marvy Calligraphy Pen. This is a 3.5 millimeter, as you can see right there. This is a big, chunky chisel tip. So let's see how this writes. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, big chunky chisel tip marker. Seems pretty cool. Oh, look at the look at the clip on this thing. So it's metal and the metal wraps around a plastic bit. So it's got some nice flexibility but also nice strength. It's not going to just like tear off of there. That's a, I haven't seen that before. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, it's got the 3.5 on the top and uh, these are a Japanese calligraphy pen. So that ought to be pretty cool. She's going to enjoy that one. And then I picked up this one. This is a Karanda Osh 888. And you may be familiar with the uh, the 849, which is their, their sort of higher end uh, all metal uh, pen uses the Goliath refill. This is the much uh, less expensive. So these are between 20 and like 70 or 80, I think is the top end for these 849s. Uh, they're not terribly cheap. Uh, I mean, 20 bucks is, is fine, but like when you get to like 80, I'm like, mm, that's a lot. This one was like five or six bucks. I want to say it was like $5 and change. Well, let me see if I can find my receipt. It was, um, yeah, five seventy five was what this cost. So under $6, uh, especially since I'm a teacher. So they give me a teacher discount of like 10%. So a little bit less than that, but this has actually a really solid action and the uh, this is a heavier pen than you might think because this nose cone is very heavy and there's also as Audrey pointed out, I, so I was thinking of it as front heavy and she's like oh it's actually really back heavy and so I took off the front and yeah sure enough this has got to be a like a big metal mechanism it actually looks a lot like the one that's in the 849 although I haven't been able to take it out let's see if I can unscrew this no, it doesn't seem to unscrew in the same way so I don't really know, but uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's got a very nice refill, I think. Let's see, uh, uh, Karandash 888, which is actually, it's a ballpoint, uh, and it's a very nice, consistent ballpoint. I'm not seeing it pushing any like big blobs of ink or anything like that around. Uh, it feels really nice so far, and it's got a good weight to it. I, I like a nice, heavy ballpoint, and this is, this is fitting the bill. Okay, so there's that one. And then, uh, let's see what else. Oh, I got these two. 
These are Schneiders. I'm a big fan of the Schneiders, and these are the Schneider Express. And it says for documents, 0.8 millimeter, made in Germany. And I thought these were going to be ballpoints. I like the Schneider ballpoints, uh, but these are actually sort of porous point pens, as you can see there. And 0.8 is a is a fine uh, tip size for these. Now, think about porous point. You don't see them a whole lot. They're kind of uh, a little bit more rare for some reason. Uh, the um, uh, the Pilot V razors and the uh, Pentel Expressos and a few like that are also porous points. But these also these write really nicely. They've got a good ink good ink in there, and uh, it's a very dense very dense color. So yeah, I'm looking forward to those. And I like <laughs> I like this weird body. I mean, you're not going to lose that in your bag, right? That's that's violently colored. All right, so we got that. Then we've got, uh, I've got a pair of these, which are Zebra Sarasas, and these are Sarasa Dry, which y'all know that's probably my favorite gel pen, the Zebra Sarasa Dry. It dries instantly, the color is always uh, dense and good, and it has a nice writing experience. These X1s are a bigger, chunky body. Uh, they're different from the regular Sarasas, but I think they probably have the same refill. I haven't taken them apart to compare numbers or whatever, but I got black and blue in this one. Let's see, this is... Uh Sarasa Dry X1. There's black, and there's the. The black and the blue. And yeah, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice solid uh, gel pen uh, experience. So pretty good. Also, dries instantly, this stuff. Like, as soon as you make a mark, you can run your finger over it, and it dries super, super quick. So if you're a lefty or you just don't want to have a, a pen that smears gel ink around, and I hate that. I've got no patience for gel ink that smears all around. Uh, these are great. Then, uh, let's see what else have I got here. Oh, I have this one. This is a weird little pen, and I have one of these in the .2... I think it's a 0.25 millimeter uh, tip size. This is the Pentel Salici, and this is the uh, the 0.8, and it's a metallic. So we'll see how this one writes. I don't really know what this one's going to do, uh, but I do know I don't like the 0.25. It is way too small. This is a very thin pen. I mean, and look at this little guy. So so skinny. How do you even, how do you even spell Salici? S L I C C I. Yeah, pretty pretty good, and it's a nice uh, it's a nice nice coppery color. That's a good metallic ink, actually. See a little bit of a skip there. That's actually where I lifted the pen off the paper. Does it smear? Yeah, I got a little bit of a smear. You get that sometimes with metallic pens. They take a little bit longer to dry. I said I had no patience for that, but I might for a metallic pen. I'd probably give it a little bit extra time to dry. The Salici uh, ink is a little bit on the thick side in this metallic, uh, but this bronze is, you got to expect that with the metallic. So I'll let it slide. Let it slide for now. Also, this is like, I don't know, a buck or something. Uh, and then I've got these two, which I've never seen before. These are Zebra Click Art pens. And they have this like weird stopper in the bottom, which when you pull it out is like, this little piece of rubber. It's a little rubber stopper. How fun is that? Uh, I think this will keep it from drying out and shipping because this is a marker. Right, look at this. Full on, full on like felt tip marker action. And I got gray and I got orange because these are the two that looked the best when I wrote with them. So here's the gray. It's actually a very, uh, very like, it feels like a sturdy felt tip on this thing. I think it's a felt tip. Might be a porous point. I don't know. It looks felt tip to me. I'm going to have to look these up because everything's in Japanese. And then this is the other click art. Right there. And uh, yeah, these these dried right away. No, uh, no weird behavior or anything. It feels good when you write with it. So there you go. I'm going to stick these little stoppers back in there just for funsies. Just kind of mash it back in there like that. Yeah, that's cool. That'll keep it from drying out and that sort of thing while I'm not using it. I like that. I like that those are in there. They are good. And it's got a nice nice authoritative click. No, uh, no clip. It's got like a suggestion of a clip, but no actual clip. It's just like a roll stop. Does it stop it? It does stop it. All right, good. All right. All right. So, uh, oh, and one more thing. So this is something that they were giving away every hour or so at the uh, their in-store pin, sh pin show uh, a week or two ago. And uh, this is the Lamy Safari, the USA edition, 
which is a very nice little fountain pen, the Lamy Safari fountain pen, in sort of royal blue with a white cap and a red clip, and also the red disc on the top. Usually when you get a Safari, it has the, um, or an All-Star, they have the uh, the cross in the top for fountain pens, but sometimes on the special editions, they'll do just a disc in a different color or something. So this has got the white disc. So that was very kind of them to throw in. Uh, they knew that we probably would have liked to go to that pen, that pen show, and they had a couple of these left, so they hooked hooked us up. All right. Uh, thank you very much for taking a watch. And uh, when you get a chance to go to a, a brick and mortar store uh, or if you want to go to like a jet pens or something, get you a handful of singles because this is so many experiences just in one hand. It's so cool to be able to get just single rando pens. I, I love doing that. So uh, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks uh, to to Crazy Allen's uh, pen store for existing and uh, go out and find some some cool stuff if you uh, get a chance and you can do it safely. And we we did it safely at Crazy Allen's. We were pretty much like it was pretty much just us in the store. So, so there you go. Thanks very much. I'll see you later. Peace out.